I just drove this TRD Pro 4Runner into Baja. That's right, they let me take this to Mexico. Um, I spent three days down, actually four days down there, hitting the San Felipe whoops, going over the crossover at Valley T, hitting the coast, driving on the beaches. I mean, I tried to do it all, but what was really cool is I got to run on the Baja 1000 race course. We just happened to time it perfectly. We just happened to be driving on the same sections. You see the race uh, markers, I'm like, oh, this is cool. I've been racing down there for a long time. I raced the trophy truck class. I've raced trophy spec and production. So I've, I've got a lot of time racing down there, a lot of experience. And I used to take a production vehicle down there to pre-run. Um, I wanted to see if this vehicle was kind of up to par to, uh, to kind of do the same thing. So I'm hitting a lot of the race course stuff and I'm like, oh, this thing's doing pretty well. It doesn't have a lot of travel, but the TRD guys did a pretty damn good job when it came to just using what they had uh, to really make it work. I'm Joe Bacall, we are throwing it sideways today. Do me a favor and click that subscribe button, ring that bell. We are going to Baja. Let's talk suspension on the TRD Pro, especially the 2.5 Fox external reservoir shocks that this vehicle comes with. It also comes with an AT Nitto Grappler tire. This is a pretty dialed in, tuned package altogether from an on-road standpoint as well as off-road. And I pushed this, this vehicle pretty hard in Baja on a lot of different surfaces and I kept just, you know, washboard to really sharp rocks, you know, G-outs, things like that and uh, the suspension just ate it up. It really did. I didn't get tired. I wasn't like, man, this thing's super, you know, rough and, and harsh. I didn't get any of that. I was really just pretty relaxed. It actually felt a little bit like the Land Cruiser, which is the big brother, um, and when it just came to just comfort. So I want to bring up a few things that I like about this TRD Pro 4Runner and some things that I don't, and I'm going to explain really pretty much what's going on here. So talking about tires specifically, you know, we're going down deep into Mexico. We need a tire that's going to do pretty well. I like how TRD teamed up with Nitto in the fact that they put this off-the-shelf all-terrain tire on this package and it works really well. Another thing that I really like is the approach and departure angle. Um, you know, I was coming down some pretty steep stuff and, and going up some hills, not even close on touching the front or the rear. I think that makes it really a good package when it comes to the TRD Pro when it comes to off-road. So I'm looking at this vehicle and I'm like, gosh, something looks familiar to me. You know, I spent a lot of time working on the FJ Cruiser back when I worked for Toyota on the development side. And I'm like, why does this TRD Pro 4Runner have the FJ Cruiser roof rack, right? It's the same one. I'm like, oh, that's cool. It works great. But I'm like, something looked familiar to me. But one thing that I think uh, Toyota should have done personally is the side steps on this vehicle if you're going to put a sidestep on a vehicle, put it on a minivan. Don't put it on an off-road TRD Pro vehicle that's going to go down to Mexico and hit the Baja 1000 race course. I don't know. That's just me. Put a rock rail. Oh, wait a second. If you take the rock rail off the FJ Cruiser, which works really well, you use the, use the roof rack, throw the rock rail on there. It's a win-win. All right, guys. Another thing that I like about the TRD Pro 4Runner is the skid plate. I think it comes on all the TRD Pro lineup, but... Uh, I'm telling you, there's a couple spots down in Mexico that I was running through and 
if I didn't have that nice alloy, I think it's a quarter inch, uh, you know, skid plate to protect the bottom of that vehicle, you, you probably, you could have some problems. I mean, you really need to make sure you have the right protection when you're driving, especially fast off-road, but even in the rocks, you know, doing the technical stuff is important. I like how the, fa the fact that they put that on this vehicle, everything just kind of works together. So let me bring up another thing that I thought was interesting, and that's the hood scoop. A lot of people are going, oh, the hood scoop's fake. Why do they do that? You know, nobody cares. It's fine. It looks cool, whatever. But it doesn't work in the real world, and here's why. When you're driving off-road and there's all kinds of rocks and things like that, when you're sitting in the driver's seat and you're looking at your right front corner, you can't see really what's over there because the bump of the hood is that much. So that's a problem. You're losing that much eyesight or vision to, get, to make sure you're going to clear something. Something to think about. Personally, I would get rid of that the bump in the hood and I would put a black graphic, um, you know, satin finish or something like that or matte. So in case somebody puts some lights on the top, you don't get that reflection. A lot of the racers do that. It works really well. Something to think about in the future. So another thing that I found that I wasn't a big fan of was the five speed. It's been around a long time. We know that it's a little bit dated, but you have to drive this vehicle differently than you would maybe maybe some of the newer vehicles where they're you know six, seven, eight speeds. And what I'm finding is I'm you know as I'm going up grades and things like that, I'm always having to throw it in manual, pop it down a few gears just to get the power that I need. Um, it'd be nice if they could do something with the transmission and maybe upgrade that and just change some of the logic and the, and the shift points. But uh, in the end, is it good? Yeah. Could it be better? Absolutely. So another thing that I found that was an issue with the TRD Pro, specifically the 4Runner, I'm not sure if it applies to the other, other models, but uh, I did a crawl demonstration in the sand. I buried the vehicle a little bit, turned crawl control on, pretty much normal, normal day at the office, right? But what I found was that the rear, where the exhaust is, the TRD exhaust specifically, you know, are right behind the left or the right rear mud flap, and they're only about that far away. So as you're starting to spin the tire, it's pushing that mud flap into the exhaust. So once I got done with my crawl control demonstration, I pulled the vehicle out, and I had a melted, uh, you know, uh, mud flap. Not okay. So these are little things that you don't, sometimes, you know, Toyota and other manufacturers don't realize that these are issues until they happen in the field, which this happened to be a, a pretty good find actually, and they'll, 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 they'll figure out a way to fix it. So people ask me all the time, like, Joe, I just got this brand new TRD Pro 4Runner, and I wanna go ahead and change the shocks, and I wanna put a bigger tire on it, and this and that, and I wanna do all this stuff. I always go, what are you gonna do with it? You know, do you need a bigger tire? Do you need more suspension? I just took this vehicle in some pretty gnarly spots down in Mexico, and honestly, I wouldn't touch it. It's under warranty. The suspension did exactly what I expect to. Actually, it was better than I thought it was going to be, honestly. And, uh, and I pushed it pretty hard. So why would you just, you just spent 10 extra thousand dollars for a TRD Pro. Leave it alone. It's under warranty. It's perfect. You know, there's a lot of reviews out there on these vehicles, especially the, the TRD Pro. There's a ton of them out there on YouTube. I've watched some of them and you know, when they say, oh, this thing does so well off-road, um, I scratch my head sometimes because maybe they just hit a mud puddle and they're like, oh my God, I just, I didn't even need four-wheel drive or I just pushed this button and it did an amazing job. I'm not buying it. You know what? If, if, if you want to sell me a vehicle, show me how the vehicle actually performs in places that are pretty, pretty gnarly like Baja. Um, this vehicle did a, an amazing job and I'm not just saying that. Did I work for Toyota? Yeah. Did I race for them? I did. Do I, am I biased? Absolutely I'm biased with, with Lexus and Toyota, but I'm just gonna tell you how it is. I come from a vehicle development side and evaluator or evaluation test driving um, background and uh, I just, I was surprised how well dialed in this vehicle was.
asked Toyota USA if I could borrow a vehicle to go down. They're like, yeah, I don't know. That sounds kind of, we're not sure that's a good idea. I'm like, trust me, let me take it down there. Let me make sure this vehicle does what you guys say it's supposed to do. And you know what? I was pretty impressed.